Hello, uh, I'm Dan from Fish, and I'm sitting here with Jamie Morden from My Dad Wrote a Porno, the son of the infamous Rocky Flintstone. Indeed. Yeah. So, um, we've written this book uh, about the year, and in it is a lot of stories of erotica, tales of kinkiness from 2017. <laughs> yes. And I wanted to quiz you, as a, as a sort of expert now of erotica, on the events of this year. I'm an expert in the anti-erotic of my dad. But you know, we can have a, a, we'll have a, a crack at it. We'll have a crack. Let's see, see. see how we get on. So, uh, one of the rivals to your dad's uh, genre um, is Chuck Tingle. So he does a very interesting thing where he mixes uh, news and erotica. Which of the following book titles is not by Chuck Tingle from 2017? Okay. So is it A, fake news, real boners? Is it B, Slammed by my handsome fidget spinner. Is it C, pounded in the butt by Kofefe? <laughs> or is it D, T-Rex anal workout? That's hard. Yeah, well. Maybe not, maybe it's flaccid, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go with the T-Rex one. T-Rex? Uh, is that not right? I'm afraid that was this year. Was it? It's, a, it's one of his more recent books, oh, actually. I'm yeah. Interested. So what was the other one? Fake news, real boners. Uh, well, that's just been an ongoing saga. Exactly. Who are Lily, Katie, Liza, and Aki? Are they A, sex dolls in a Spanish brothel? Is it B, the founders of porn stars for an independent Catalonia? Or is it C, names of four glamour models that Donald Trump has dated? Oh, I, 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 I want to go Catalonia. Uh, it's yeah. sex dolls in a Spanish. And that was my brothel. second choice. Was I think it? it was something to do with Spain. Yeah, it's the first ever European sex doll brothel that really? opened this year. Yeah, so they've assured customers that they get disinfected okay, between sessions. I should hope so. Yeah. Okay. Next question. A fast food chain released a romance novel this year. Yes. Which of the below is the actual one? Yes. Was it McDonald's who released a book called Love Will Catch Up with You? Is it Burger King, who released a book titled The King with a Big Whopper? Is it C, KFC, who released a book called The Tender Wings of Desire? Or is it D, Pizza Hut, who released a book called The Love Hut? I think The King with the Big Whopper. Oh, really? Oh, don't go Chris Tarrant on me. That's, uh... Is that the fact? Oh, no. no, it's not. But I'm not. It's Cause, not it. Because that's not that's the one you're. Yeah, say. I thought so. I really. So was I'm gonna go with KFC. KFC. His finger looking good. Is that it? That's it. Yes. Yes. We could just pretend I didn't say the other thing. So that was just my. I was just yeah, the, showing you, you my working out. Yeah, you yeah. were doing the. That's why yeah. I really. Yeah. I felt like I jumped the gun there. Yeah, no, you did. Totally. I'm doing terribly. You've got. Yeah, you are. Um, yeah, really bad. <laughs> I feel really embarrassed. X-rated TV channel Babe Station yes. made the news this year. Of course. Was it because A. They accidentally inundated a small Irish town with late night sexy calls. B. They sneakily filmed scenes for a porno in Buckingham Palace. Or C. The President of the United States of America mixed up one of their glamour models, Theresa May, for the Prime Minister of England. To me, Theresa May. The Buckingham Palace one. Yeah. I'm gonna go with that because I want that to be true. Okay. Uh, it's not true. Oh, yeah. damn. I'm so sorry. It's the Irish Village. Yeah. So what happens is um, they have a number that you can call. People calling from Ireland forgot to do an international code. <laughs> so 098 happens to share the same uh, prefix with a small town. Irish town. Oh so they just kept inundating <laughs> locals with... That's amazing that it's yeah. that popular that people actually call them up. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, well look, you've done... You've done really well. Yeah. I have, haven't I? Yeah. So. I think so. It's very much um, fake news, but I appreciate you saying that. So, Jamie's My Dad Wrote a Porno Christmas mm. episode. It's their second Christmas episode. It's yeah. up on iTunes now. It is. Um, it's free. Last it's year. It's free, I know. Last year it wasn't, and this it's year. It's for gone. the past mistakes. Right. It's free. <laughs> oh, man. So, it's very exciting. It's obviously the best podcast in the UK, genuinely. So, uh, have a listen at Christmas time in front of your grandparents. Uh, yes, do. Embarrassed. Booming on the speaker system. Well, thanks for coming in, dude. Thanks so much. It's Appreciate been fun. It. Yeah.